Hey there and welcome to the second episode of 3D printing with Puzzle Guy. I'm not teaching here how to 3D print, I'm not giving you advices how to print better, I'm just showing you my experience of a person who had no idea how to 3D print just 10 days ago and now I'm printing all kinds of good stuff like this dude or this wand of Harry Potter or even these glasses of Harry Potter. Since my last episode when I had issues with filament sticking to the bed of the printer, I had a lot of progress and the, this issue was fixed with just a couple of glasses of beer, a couple of guys from 3D printing discord server and a couple of hours later they told me just to flip the uh, glass uh, bed uh, cover upside down to the smooth side and now everything works like magic, the filament uh, sticks to the bed like the bed was covered with glue. Since that fix I don't have uh, this issue anymore but sometimes the corners of a project that I'm trying to print are curling and a couple minutes later the whole piece is just dancing around the nozzle and I have to start from the very beginning. Uh, I've noticed that sometimes when I use a uh, Prusa uh, slicer I need to calibrate the bed of the printer a little bit different. Since with Kura I have to uh, calibrate it the regular way but with Prusa I have to adjust the Z uh, to minus like 10, sometimes 20, so have no idea why it's happening. Maybe I do something wrong in uh, Prusa when I'm uh, doing the project or maybe they're different, so let me know what you think about that and how to fix this issue. Despite of all that, uh, I have some successful projects and the first one uh, was uh, that I printed my logo and put it on the fan cover of the 3D printer, now it looks nice and I really like that my logo is uh, there. If you are watching my uh, Instagram stories or YouTube stories you probably uh, saw these short videos where I'm printing this dude and uh, there is a logo uh, of my channel on the printer. Next project that I tried to uh, print was uh, a puzzle that takes about nine hours to print. There are three pieces there and each piece takes about three hours to print but again the uh, corners were curling and I couldn't print it. I tried many times but then I decided to switch to another puzzle. Since I still have stock springs in my printer I have to calibrate the bed uh, of the printer like after every print. If I print something for longer than one hour I have to calibrate the bed uh, before the next print. And the best way to do that I found was to print a one layer 10 centimeters big piece and while it is printing I can adjust each corner uh, so that uh, the lines will be nice and smooth and that was the best way for me. Not the quickest but the best way to calibrate the bed. And then I tried to uh, print uh, the puzzle that I'm gonna show you today and it was printed pretty well but there are supports are still there I have to cut them and then try to solve the puzzle so I'm gonna do it a little bit later. After printing and filming the puzzle I found that the uh, image doesn't look so good since uh, the camera is uh, standing next to the printer and it doesn't move and the bed of the printer is constantly moving and the image looks uh, a little bit jerky so I decided to find another way how to film and I found that I can uh, print a mount for a, a GoPro camera and put it on the bed of the printer and that's mean that the camera is gonna move with the bed and the object uh, that I'm printing is always gonna stay in the middle of the uh, frame and that makes another much more beautiful picture and finally I can use my GoPro since I bought it like a couple of years ago uh, when we went to Egypt and I, have, I still have uh, hundreds of gigabytes of footage from uh, that trip but I don't use them and I never used GoPro since uh, uh, the day again. If you have kids, 3D printer makes you the best dad ever. I've printed for my son these uh, two little dudes from Eman Us. Uh, also, I've printed for him this wand of uh, Harry Potter. Then I printed these uh, Harry Potter's glasses and now I'm the best dad ever. But now I have another bigger issue which I like to call as 3D printing fever. I want to print constantly, 24 hours a day and sometimes I spend hours just scrolling through Thingiverse looking for interesting projects to print. 
And now let's move to the puzzle that I've printed this week. First of all, I have to remove all uh, supports and then I'm gonna try to solve it. I don't know how uh, difficult this puzzle is gonna be, uh, but I thought that it looks good and I'm gonna try to print it. The only issue that I found a couple of days later after printing the puzzle is that I could print it without supports, since there is another project of exactly the same puzzle uh, where pieces are cut into two parts and after printing you can just connect them together and that's it and you don't have to uh, remove all the support stuff but I have what I have and I'm gonna try to fix it now so I'm gonna start with the orange piece and I have to cut like this bottom part I have to cut this bottom part and this parts somewhere in the middle so I hope I'm not gonna cut my fingers or I'm not gonna cut my desk yeah that is quite difficult I thought that removing supports will be much easier and quicker I thought I can just no, unsnap it or something like that but I have to do a lot of work to remove it and at the same time I don't want to break the puzzle since it is the only puzzle I have for, for today's video and if I break it that's mean that I have no puzzle to solve today again Whew, the first part is gone almost gone I have just to remove this tiny piece and that's it supports are a nightmare now the second part and that's gonna be difficult as well ah okay the puzzle is ruined I'm gonna try to glue it together so I'm gonna use some glue I'm gonna put it right here and hope it's gonna be a strong connection and I can solve the puzzle later Ouch. oops there is a small crack here probably I have to glue it later as well I have idea why it happens since there are layers goes the same direction where I cut oh my god I hope I haven't break anything no okay I just have to put this piece back wait a little bit when it's gonna stick well and then try to solve the puzzle Ooh, that was quite a challenge to remove the supports and I'll leave it aside for a couple of minutes while I'm gonna clean here and then come back for solving the puzzle okay the puzzle is ready to be solved and first of all my timer I forgot about it last couple of times I'm gonna start it and let's see what I can do how these parts are supposed to be together so that's definitely gonna be something like this this here those there or maybe it's gonna be like this yeah that's gonna be this way I think no not this way since uh, these two parts are not gonna be together close together so that's gonna be something like this to goes that way this to goes this way okay that's gonna be like this but now I have to figure out how to put it together so two parts the idea is that I put them together they have these lines going on three sides which can't interfere with the lines on the other side so it's gonna be like this definitely the 
they're gonna be like these, bo oh, both parts. But now I have to find the way how to put them together. So this goes here. Maybe I have to rotate it, but put the parts from the very beginning a different way. And both parts are exactly the same, except one part, since this part has this kind of a uh, line here, but this one has like all the same lines. Okay, let's see again what I can do. I can move it up here and I wish I can move it green piece towards myself, but that is impossible due to this piece. Okay, but it might be possible the other way somehow. That is something. I don't think that I achieved something big, but achieved at least something. And now it's gonna be like this. Oh, I think that that's it. No, no, ah, no. These two parts are not supposed to be together, but that was so close. That was very close. I think that I have to make another rotation somewhere. Uh, I don't want to give up. I want to solve this puzzle. So let's try again. This goes here, this goes here. Ah, okay, that's why, because I started with these walls close to another. I have to figure out the way now how to rotate them in such a way that all of them are gonna be in a different spot. Okay, but how, how it is possible? I can rotate it like this and that looks pretty nice. But then I have to rotate, ooh. Ooh, that, that, that's exactly what I was looking for. But now I have to figure out how to, and it is possible to move it. Please, please, I think, I think that I found it, I found it. Yes! Finally! One more move. One more move. Yes! Yes, it's done. 14 minutes. 14 minutes took me to assemble this piece of a puzzle. Don't even ask me how I was able to solve it. I have no idea. But the result is correct, I think. That was the puzzle that I saw on the picture. I'm glad that I've been able to print it. It is my first 3D printed puzzle. I'm glad that I almost didn't break it while removing the supports. And I'm really glad that I was able to solve it. So if you like this puzzle, link uh, where to find the project is gonna be in the video description. If you have other interesting puzzles that I can print and show on my channel, leave them in the comments below the video. And if you enjoyed watching this video, Hit the like button, don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed yet and push the bell button to be notified every time I upload a new video. See you next time.